Hey everyone, uh, I know I haven't made a video in a long time, um, but I'm going to do something different today. I'm just going to open some packs here on Puzzle Quest, because the Bloom Girls that came out. Uh, also, I'm also going to be talking about a concept I have for Paper Magic. Um, if you've been paying attention at all, um, then you know that this music's loud. I'm gonna try and turn it down. I don't know how this is gonna affect the recording. I apologize. Um, if you've been following Paper Magic, you know that there have been big changes in the Commander sphere. Uh, Commander being the game format, which unfortunately is not in Puzzle Quest, but that's okay. It's part of Magic as a whole. And the biggest change is now that uh, Wizards of the Coast is now taking over uh, the rules committee's job of deciding which cards will get banned and how the game will be played generally speaking which I think is a bad idea because commander isn't um, like a tournament type gameplay anyways it's a casual type gameplay um, but what I wanted to talk about was the um, what do they call it the something zero turn zero conversation or whatever at the beginning of the game you talk about oh what's my deck and everyone talks about oh it's a it's a seven or it's a three or it's a ten or whatever it's 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 uh, competitive or it's casual and now they're talking about these four brackets um, I think the conversation needs to completely change I think the conversation should be about intention of win Meaning, uh, you sit down with your playgroup, whether it's people you know or people you don't, and you say, based on experience or based on intention, my deck is a turn four deck. Meaning, it should be triggering or winning by turn four. And um, when you're building a deck, you can tell people, um, hey, this particular deck, I am trying to make a turn three or a turn four but i'm testing it and then after you've played it or if you're familiar with the deck let's say you're using a deck list you've you've conceptualized a deck oh i want to make a plus one plus one counters deck but you're not exactly sure how to optimize it so instead you turn to uh, edh uh, rec and you find a deck list and you optimize it that way that way you don't have to play test it you can just put it together you've already got the cards um, and so you build a deck that you know is an optimized deck, you play it a couple of times, and you know that it's a turn four win, it's a turn five win deck, right? Then you can tell people, I've built this deck, I know that it's a turn five win deck. Um, and I think that should be the conversation. I think the conversation should be uh, turn win as opposed to um, power level. Because power level, as is discussed, uh, I should say also, this is partially inspired by, I just watched a video from Tolarian College with the professor. Um, and after listening to his views, his initial, that this is uh, early on views of everything that's going on, I had this idea. Uh, I commented on that video also, but comments get buried. Um, my channel isn't very big, so I don't know that my thoughts will get out there, but... I wanted to do it uh, also on my own platform. I think that we need to change the discussion from power level to how long we want the deck to play. If, like me, I have powerful cards in some of my decks. I use stuff that not a lot of people like. Um, what is it, Time Seed and stuff like that. Really powerful cards. But I build really janky decks. And I know that my deck isn't gonna fire until seven or eight or even turn nine by the time I get uh, the five or six combo pieces that I need to make these infinite things. And that's that's the way I like to play. I don't win very often, um, but I really like that type of thing. And I've tried building faster decks. I'm not very good at it. Um, so what I end up with are turn eight, turn nine, turn 10 before my deck is doing anything, which I think is pretty normal for casual but I think it also has 
a more realistic foundation of what people will know what to expect. If you say, I'm going to win turn 3, everybody knows. If you say, I'm going to win turn 10, everybody knows. But if you say, oh, my deck is a bracket 3, which is this new conceptualized thing, or my, tr my deck is a, is a 7, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have anything to do with how fast the deck is going to work, how long the game is going to play, and what we can expect on turns. If you tell me your deck is a turn 3 or a turn 4, and I watch you ramp out in the first turn with whatever cards, um, I know, oh, okay, yeah, it's in fact a turn 3 or a turn 4. We know what's going to happen. Um, does that create an issue where people may become targets? Because like, oh, that guy has a turn 4 deck. Maybe, but if everyone at the table has a turn 4 deck because you had that conversation, does it matter? Anyway, um, I, I haven't thought this through real well. This is just something that's kind of just starting. But I wanted to voice it uh, mostly because I needed to vent. I appreciate if you watched this video. Um, if you did and you got this far, I would genuinely like to hear your thoughts. Um, is this a viable conversation? Or is this just silliness? Um, or do we not need to change the conversation? Maybe maybe the brackets will work. Anyway, uh, as everyone has been discussing, this seems to be a community discussion. This is a community issue. And so I'm reaching out to the community. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.